Hey guys, Eccles Gear here with a look today on how I set up my patrol gear, my duty vest um, for work as a law enforcement officer. Uh, so in an earlier video, I covered how I set up my belt. Uh, I carry a lot of gear on my vest as well. Thankfully, my department allows outer carriers. Very nice of them. Uh, and they allow me to set up pretty much however I want, which is also very nice. Comes in handy. Uh, so these are the things that I run. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the setup as is. I probably wouldn't change very much, uh, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, the vest itself is a Safe Life uh, soft armor carrier with the Molly webbing. It's it does a good job. It's not my favorite carrier. If I had to do it again, I would probably buy a different brand. The biggest complaint I about, have about it is um, I would like if the Molly ran more onto the side. A lot of a couple other officers that I work with have ones that zip in the middle. And so they don't have these side panels here, which allows them to have Molly run all along the side there. And it just gives them a little bit more room and a little bit more customization uh, in terms of what they want to put on their vest. Uh, like I said, Safe Life, I have no real complaints about it. I think their ads are annoying as fuck, but I continue to get them anyway. So it is what it is. So we're going to start over here onto this side. Uh, I got a Motorola APX 6000 radio. It's department issued. I have no real knowledge about radios. Uh, it works, so I use it like that. The way I've got it running is the mic loops around in front of my chest and comes up to my uh, handheld, whatever you call it, uh, right here. And just allows me to press it with my non-dominant hand. I can speak into it really easily. It's accessible in almost every position I can be in. Uh, it's pretty secure with that cord running around in front of my body. It's pressed between my body and uh, the vest itself, so it doesn't really move around a lot. It is sitting in a Bigfoot uh, radio holster. I cannot talk about this enough. I absolutely love this. It's probably one of my most asked about pieces of gear. Uh, the guy that makes these is phenomenal. He does a really good job. Um, quick shipping times, all that, like just, it's, he does a really good job and it is very secure. The ones that we are issued at my department are a joke. I mean, it, you could trip and it's going to go flying out. So much less running or fighting somebody. Um, I just have no faith in those at all. So I upgraded to this and I absolutely love it. It's got adjustable tension on it. I have it torqued down very, very heavily. Um, because the only time I ever need it out is maybe once every couple weeks to change our frequency for a special event or something. Uh, so I rarely take it out or to charge it, I guess. It, yeah. Um, but again, I just keep it torqued down. So when I need it to come out, yeah, you got to pull a little hard. But when I don't want it to come out, that thing ain't coming out. And I absolutely adore this thing. Up here, it's got an Academy pen. Nothing fancy. Uh, in here, I keep a window punch. I've never used it. I don't know if I ever will use it, and if I ever do need to use it, there's a pretty good chance I'll probably forget I even have it on there. It's kind of a forgotten piece of gear that I have tucked away in there. Uh, in here is just an extra pen that I use in case I need someone to use a pen, and I don't want to use my personal pen. Um, they're Sharpie ink pens, phenomenal pens. I love them. I don't really carry anything here right now. I'll probably get into towards the end of the video. Um, some other things that I was considering when setting up my carrier and some things that I might change in the future that I'm not totally sure about. Moving over, pop these out real quick. Uh, we've got STAC mag pouches. This is their pistol, obviously, with the double gap. They sell a single gap that they're a lot closer together. Uh, I like the double gap a little bit more so I can get my fat fingers in there when I'm trying to draw the mags. Uh, new on the mags, literally added yesterday i do believe are my plus two extensions um showing the block here i think they look absolutely phenomenal uh i i just love them i can't stop looking at them i was i was standing at the door watching waiting for the the mailman to come so i could get them so now all my macs have plus two extensions on them um Everyone knows STAC is the best when it comes to mag pouches. I've got them on my personal belt. I run them on this. I've, 
uh, like the like the radio carrier, no complaints. They work perfectly. I can't ask for anything more. Uh, I already really talked about this on my belt setup. This is a high speed gear uh, handcuff taco pouch with Smith and Wesson cuffs um, in it. Uh, again, like everything else, it works just like I need it to. I have no complaints about it. It does have that uh, loop over that would snap into there, which I cut out and removed the button because I don't like it. Um, they retain the cuffs perfectly without it, and it's just one more thing that's going to bother me. Uh, so those do a really good job. These are my secondary draw handcuffs. My primary ones are on the belt like I showed right next to my gun. Those are the ones I'm always going to go for nine times out of ten. Um, never really use these very often. Uh, up here, like I said, an academy pin, a radio, um, a badge, name tag. In here I keep a handcuff key. Uh, it's right here. It gets interfered with a little bit with this cord right here, so this isn't my primary draw. I've got a second one on a key ring on my belt that I can just pop off real quick if I need it. Uh, this is just a Zach tool like that. It's pretty big, it's pretty nice, does a good job. The earpiece itself, it's kind of confusing if I'm not wearing it to figure out where it's going, but it's attached to the mic here. It runs up and I pin it behind my badge, so it can't go anywhere. It's stuck behind my badge. Uh, and then loops up under the shoulder pauldron, whatever you want to call that, and goes behind my head and I've got it clipped in here and it goes into my right ear. Um, little tip, I uh, take a Sharpie, it's probably not gonna be able to see it, and I mark where I keep this clip because occasionally that comes off. Um, I pop it off to do some work or I'm gonna wash the vest or something. And I hate having to play around with that adjustment and trying to figure out where it's gonna go again, where I like it. So I mark it like that. That way I can just boom, set it up and it's good to go. Uh, the earpiece, I used to run it into my left ear, and when I was starting out, and I mean, I'm not experienced in any way, shape, or form, uh, but I was noticing that when I would talk to people, um, people have this thing where they'll try to talk to you and they, they whisper everything, or maybe I'm just deaf, that's probably a more accurate uh, summary, so I would lean in to listen to them, uh, and if it was in my left ear, I would lean in my right ear naturally, and that's kind of leaning my gun side into them. Don't really like that. So I switched it out. So now when someone says something to me, I can lean in with my left ear, angle my gun away from them. Uh, makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Uh, good fighting position like that. We're always fighting for the better position. Uh, just a little thing to think about. The earpiece is just a Motorola uh, brand earpiece. I originally ran a cheap, generic $8 earpiece. And it really worked fine, um, but I noticed that, oh, there's my doggy. oh my. Um, I originally noticed you want to come up here and be on camera. Oh my, yeah, look at you. Um, that it didn't sound very well, or it didn't sound very good. Uh, so I decided to switch it out with a official Motorola brand. Uh, I think it was like $30 more than a cheap Amazon one. Does it sound better? Maybe. Does it work better? Maybe. I really don't know. Um, it gets the job done, so I'm not going to complain about it too much. Uh, really, that's it. I don't really keep anything else on here. I used to keep my notebook. There's a little side pouch in here. Uh, my notepad shoved in there with a pen clipped across. I've now shoved those into my pants, into those little front-facing pockets that uh, tactical pants tend to have. And now I'm just kind of shoving my cell phone in there. Uh, not a good habit, I don't think, to have it so close uh, to, or not a good habit to have it right there because I'll probably always be checking it when I'm not supposed to, um, but whatever, I'm just going to stick it in there anyway. Uh, I don't really think I keep anything else on here. What I was talking about earlier with um, changes I might make, I might end up taking these mag pouches and putting them here and then throwing my taser on here. Uh, our department requires that it, if you split your body in half, it be on your non-dominant side. So, unfortunately, I can't stick it anywhere over here. Um, again, I'm not pl I, I like the idea of it, but I feel like it's going to be hard to access my mags. 
and I just really don't care for the taser on the vest too much, but the only thing I'm trying to think about is getting stuff off of my belt, and the taser takes up so much room that I really, really just want it off of my belt on my vest. Um, there's a, sorry about the background noise, dog's chewing. There's a department um, in the area that they don't carry tasers, and poor guys. I mean, it's a good tool, but I mean, at least you don't have to carry it around, whatever. I'm rambling. So that's really the only thing I would ever change about this. Um, for right now, I really like the setup. Radio is easily accessible. Um, these are my second and third mags. Uh, so if you watch my belt video, it, I had the that T-Rex arms uh, canted mag pouch sitting on there. And that's my primary draw, it's right there. That's what I trained to go to first. And then these are my uh, backups, my second and thirds. Um, and if you're gonna run something like that, there's two or three other officers that do that. They split their mags. It's just important to remember that when you're dry firing to run through like that. So first mag, second mag, third mag, and just keep wrapping that out, wrapping that around, wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it. Because I don't wanna be drawing that first mag and then go to draw again and there's no mag there. Or I don't wanna go for these mags when I've got my good mag right there. Um, so it's just something to think about, just always running that through your mind. Um, again, handcuff pouch, it's right there. If I need second cuffs, uh, they're there for me. Uh, so yeah, there is my vest as a patrol officer, subject to change. Hopefully will change. I mean, there's always stuff you can adapt to and become better with, uh, so we'll see. Uh, the reason for doing the face reveal already, ooh, so exciting. Uh, I attempted to shoot this video without showing my face, just my hands, kind of like my belt video. It didn't work out too well, this thing's too big, it's hard setting up the camera and everything, so fuck it. Um, we're gonna do my face now, whatever, I don't care. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe if you want more content. Um, see you guys later.